Woo-wee. First of all, shout out to Game Chops for the music provided in the background. And guys, look what I found at Walmart, dude. I saw, I had this box in my hand. And I was like, 40 bucks? Damn. Hmm, nah. I'm an idiot. Guys, I'm an idiot. I fucking got home. I looked up these boxes. People are trying to sell them for like 120 bucks, dude. And I got it for, what, 40 at Walmart. There was a bunch of them there uh, on Black Friday, like the night of. And then I got back the next day once I realized and there was only one left, guys. The only one left. No more Vaporeon ones. No more other Flareon ones. I didn't even see any Jolteon ones. But guys, what this is, is it's a Vaporeon VMAX premium collection. It has a one or has a jumbo alt art VMAX. Uh, it has an alt art VMAX and an alt art V. It also comes with this really cool coin and this really sweet pin. But uh, let me go ahead and open it up so I can show you guys. Dude, this thing is so nice. It's even like texturized. I don't even want to open it. To be honest, it's so nice. And I'll show you guys the packs that I got inside. I think people were trying to sell them for a lot because I don't know. I seen something saying that these are from 2018, but the ones from Walmart, like here, it definitely doesn't say 2018. It says 2022. So I don't know if maybe this is a product relaunch. Maybe Walmart dug in the back and found some old things, but it says 2022. So I'm imagining it's a product relaunch, guys. But um, I did find that Oras U2 V Union packet, a different Walmart. So, you know, maybe they just, uh, maybe that's just how they do it. I'm not going to be too worried about the QR code, guys, because this video I'm probably going to upload a few days after I actually film it. So by then, I would have used that one. So I'm not going to do any silly edits like I did that one time. <laughs> Sorry it takes me so long to do this shit sometimes. I try to fill up. Yeah. I don't know if I need 10 minutes. I really don't. Hey, because I don't make money yet. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I'll show you guys everything here. Nope. Fucking hell. The yeah, Adu Vaporeon has always been a favorite of mine. I may act like a Squirtle main, but I actually started my very first run through with a Bulbasaur and I beat the game very first, oh, almost with the Bulbasaur. I ended up doing the um, Loretto Clash, very nice, and the Sword and Shield. I haven't, I don't know if I've opened any of these, honestly. Just, what is this, Sword and Shield base? Is that what that is? I don't know what to call that. And of course the jumbo card, bro. It's so nice. <laughs> the pin. It's really nice, guys. And the coin. Which I honestly pretty really like. Oh, so anyways, where I was going with that story was because I started with a uh, Bulbasaur, I needed a strong water type and boom, Vaporeon provided that support because my brother chose Charmander and he used to always whip my ass. <laughs> okay, so what am I gonna do next? All right, might as well put the jumbo card away. While I'm rummaging through the celebrations tins, guys, if you're new to the channel and watching one of my videos for the first time, I'm trying to reach 250 subscribers. So if you're not, please consider subscribing. And when we hit 250, I'm going to celebrate 
by opening this celebration ZTB. I've decided, you know, uh, what's the point of me having this to open in five years, which is what I originally wanted to do. What's the point of doing that if, you know, I'm already 31, dude, I might not live that long. Life is too short. I might have some things to hold on to to sell, but if I want to open this, why wait so long? I might as well at least try to promote my channel with it. So guys, if you want to see me open that, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit like, and uh, you know, whatever. We'll start it off with the Fusion Strikes Pack, guys. Imagine I get something nutty out of here, dude. I would freak out. See, I like I was saying, guys, this box, i seen it online. People are trying to sell it from $60 to $120. And I thought that was nutty as fuck. Because they're probably just getting it from Walmart. I don't know why I ripped it open off camera. That was silly of me. I'm kind of sleepy, guys. I just finished a 12-hour shift today at UPS. I work in the facility, but I also go out with the uh, drivers and help them deliver stuff during the holidays. And so I'm pretty tired. I woke up not long ago. Kind of groggy. Finished setting up my setup. And the Tynamo is all we're going to get out of that. Okay. The Chilling Rain next. I hope I get something super cool out of this. I always have really high hopes for these Chilling Rain facts. But I'm starting to see why people don't really like them as much. Because you don't really get a lot out of them. Like, I haven't... I, mean, I, I say that as I've gotten a hit last night from one... Or the other night from the uh, Me Too V Union box. Which you guys might see after this one. I mean, I'm pretty hyped about this fucking box. I'll, I'll probably post it before the Me Too one. If I'm being completely honest. Let's see, guys. The Squavit and a Slow King. Very cool. All right. There you go. Fuck, I love that Slow King, though. Let's take another look at that, dude. If you guys know, I've mentioned it before once, but uh, I really like Slowpoke and Slowbro and the Slows. On Pokemon Go, I have a big old beefy Slow Sis. She's at max CP. I've been feeding her those extra large candies but i haven't played pokemon go much lately should i get on there guys is there anything new happening in the pogo world i bet there is they're always cycling new shit in there and exciting shit all right guys evolving skies brings tears to my eyes triple trainer okay i've said it before guys whenever i get triple trainers it's usually a nice hit Ooh. Okay, I actually have this one, so it's not that ooh. I take that ooh back. There you go, guys. <laughs> Alright, next pack, next pack. Fudge. I haven't been putting my... Shove it there. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Next pack, another Evolving Skies. Let's see if we can get a better hit out of this one. I mean, Medicham is alright, but now I have two of them. And I don't play the game, I just collect. So I'll probably end up selling the fuck out of that later. I want to take my bunch of my cards to the shops, guys. And um, see if I can get some money for some of them. There's definitely some cards I have where I'm like, those are cool, but I can definitely live without them. They're not the coolest. Like uh, some of those ultra rare trainer gather or ultra rare um trainer guards that I have. Alright guys, we're gonna open the Rebel Clash here. Hopefully we get something for I don't I actually don't know what's in these. I don't know what to you know expect or want from this. So another light QR code. That's fine. So get a trainer gallery out of it. I'm 
Okay, so I'll be keeping that one. If you've been sticking around and watching the video, thank you, thank you. If you've just been fast forwarding, catching the QR codes, you're at a mad lad. Leave a comment if you claim them, guys. At the timestamp where it is, even that would be sick. So that way people know. My right, last pack, guys. Let's see if we can get some fire from it. Oh, looks like I'll keep that one. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, subscribe if you want to see me open that ET 